So this was just a bit of a chance to um, get to know you guys a bit. Um, yeah. So we're going to chat to Chris for a bit first. If you want to ask questions, you can do in the comments. For some reason, I can't reply to comments uh, in this one. I don't know why. Um, but we will try and answer some questions as well if you put them in the chat. Um, but we thought it'd just be a good way to kind of get to know you guys, um, get to know a bit more about the group, um, things like that. So for people who wouldn't be familiar, I don't know why you, they wouldn't be, but just in case, this is Mr. Chris Bromley, who um, founded Board Game Trading and Chat UK back in 2014, I want to say. Uh, sounds about right. 14 Somewhere sounds about right. 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 Yeah, I think might be one to brush up on. It might feature in the quiz, but yeah. <laughs> right, yeah, I think it sounds right. I, I thought sixteen, but I'm almost certainly wrong. <laughs> and so, what <clears throat> um, what inspired you to set up board game trading and chat UK? Um, well, I was uh, I was kicked out of another uh, group, and I decided, or I thought, uh, where I'm going to get my bargains now. So I I just thought well, I'll just set one up. Um, and um, I did set one up. Invited, I think maybe a hundred people in the first week. Yeah. And then I think over the first uh, couple of months, what's happening in video? Is it all right? Um, over the first couple of months, um, I think the, the, I was lucky with the with the first few invites because they invited some other key people who invited, and it just kind of snowballed. Really, it, it got quite popular quite quickly. Yeah, definitely. It has, and is it still getting? Is it kind of still, is it quicker every 5,000 is a bit quicker than the last 5,000? Um, I wouldn't say it's quicker, I don't think, but um, I, I guess sometimes it does feel like it is, yeah. Um, but no, I think it's just steady, it's just a steady increase, it never stops, never stops rolling on. Yeah, yeah. I was just surprised, like, because I remember, I remember when the group hit 10,000, and then it was like, it yeah. felt like it was only a few months later, like, oh, it's 15,000. Yeah, it did it feel cool. quick, but I, I think, yeah, I don't think it was that much quicker than the previous few thousand. Paul would <laughs> like to know. Steady. If, Paul would like to know if you're meeting him at the Tash tomorrow night. Huh? What if they hadn't knocked it down? <laughs> yeah. Oh, is that? I think I saw that. Was that the, in the news for some reason? And Ben wants to know if they can talk to the dog. Chewy? No, absolutely <laughs> not. I don't. <laughs> don't ignore he is. Um, Chris Hunter would like to know what's the stupidest reason you've had to get involved in a chat. Uh, stupid reasons. I don't know really. I, uh, we've had some fairly um, stupid postal issues, but I, I, that's about it. I can't really think of any. Uh, no, but. I, mm. We don't we don't tend to get that many problems. Um, obviously, the community as it is, it, I mean, the group is kind of self policing. Mm. It, it, it's because of the the nature of the beast. Um, the the people that you get in this kind of group tend to be relatively mature, or if not m mature, mature of mind maybe. Mm -hmm. So we don't have that many problems, considering the numbers, yeah. considering the sixteen thousand. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we have we have really very few problems. Yeah, yeah. Ah, very good. And because I've often thought that, like, I'm obviously a member of quite a few different groups, and certainly some of the the, the bigger ones that we won't name, but it definitely feels like there's more of a community vibe in board game trading chat. Hundred percent. And I don't know. Hundred percent. What that is like, what how you've managed to maintain that with the growth as well, because it's pretty. Crazy yeah, time. I wonder that. It was. It did start uh, very much as a. I think it. I think it's because we tend to 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 concentrate more on the chat really than mm -hmm. the trade. Yeah, sure. I mean, I do. I do very little trading to be honest with you, but but we do. Yeah, the the, the chat is is kind of promoted naturally um, within the group um, when the numbers were small. I guess the group was running a certain way. Relaxed, I think, is the way it's yes. always been run. Yeah, definitely. Um, <clears throat> very relaxed. And I've tried to, my best to not change the way it's run, mm -hmm. you know, dependent on the numbers. We have, obviously, it's run in the same way now, other than the fact that, obviously, at one point I decided that more people need to have eyes on it. 
it's, it's just running the same way. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. well, very good. And so quickly, we're going to get Martin on in a, in a couple of minutes. Um, but before that, what would you say is your favourite game? Like, we can see a ton of games behind you, but... Uh, D&D. D&D. D&D, without question. I'm not sure what my... I, I was thinking today what my favourite board game is, and I'm really not sure. Uh, it it might be Castles of Burgundy. It might be. Yeah, yeah. But game, no question, D&D. Okay. Which is where I started, really, as a gamer. Right, yeah. And do, have you always kind of been playing that? alongside the board games or did you come away and you've started again recently yeah no uh, initially um my gaming was just D and uh talisman then when rogue trader was released which was obviously the very first edition of 40k i played that for a long time maybe to third edition then i i stopped D and altogether for maybe 10 years and right. i only really went back to it when uh <coughs> i went back to it with pathfinder and then when fifth edition came out, I went back to fifth edition. But yeah, there was a long gap with no D and D. And board gaming, really, I've only been serious about board gaming <clears throat> for about as long as the groups. Maybe a year longer than the groups been going. It all started about then. Oh, very good. And are you getting much D and D played whilst you've obviously been stuck at home? Nothing. 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 No. We have a regular group, um, obviously, but no, nothing at all. I've, I'm doing almost no gaming. I'm doing a lot of online games, but really very few. But in fact, I think I've played a few with you online, and that's it. Yeah. Nothing else. Yeah, yeah. Nothing else at all. A couple of good games. Mm. Um, no, well. <laughs> yeah, a couple of good games, and then we played another game as well. Yeah. <laughs> we won't mention. Um, yeah. Graham wants to uh, know who is the best admin. So before maybe hey. you answer that, <clears throat> who did you say? Leanne. Hey. Oh, you. <laughs> they're all they're all guessing Leanne in the comments. Um, <laughs> um I, I, there's no way I could answer that. No way I could answer that. Well, we know it's Please not me. definitely this guy that we're going to bring on now. No. So uh, there we go. <laughs> there we go. There's Martin. Hello, Martin. Bloody charming. <laughs> I would agree with you though, Chris. Um, my vote would go with Anderton. He's very methodical, organised, good ideas man. <clears throat> And he smells lovely, so I mean, what more could you want? That is true, that is true. (laughs) Does smell lovely. Um, How you doing? What is the effect of cold turkey RPGs? I don't know what Uh, that question uh, means. um, uh, Well, I obviously dropped RPGs completely for about 10 years. Um, Oh, I I see. I, I, I I found other things interesting for a while. So it wasn't really, it wasn't really a problem. Very good. Um, so hello, Martin. Um, for Hi. Watching. How you doing, guys? Martin Cubberley. Martin C, not Martin A. Martin C. Right. They're still we'll fighting on. over which one of them should change their name, so we don't keep getting confused <laughs> by the two of them. At least we spell it right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Martin. Um, so for a long time, you were kind of admin in the group by yourself, Chris, and then you brought Martin in. Um, I yeah. think as second admin, and so what was the kind of <laughs> logic behind that? I don't know if there was logic or was it. Well, I actually remember it well, Chris. It honest. was pretty easy to be honest with you. It was an easy decision. Go on. What, what, what do you remember? Well, I, I remember you sending me a message asking me if I would like to basically co-admin the thing because I seem to talk sense. Is is the rationale you used? That and was I think kind that was right. Yeah, I think it was more. Well, less that I talk sense and more that the other people in the group at the time really didn't talk a lot of sense. So, <laughs> I think I think I tell you I tell you exactly what it was. Um, obviously, I decided that um, because the numbers were growing, an ex- just an extra pair of eyes on it were, were necessary when I wasn't necessarily available because of work, or whatever. At, at the time, you were um, one of the most. You had more posts than most people. You were you were in the top top few. I mean. I didn't even really check the stats then, but it was clear that you were posting pretty much daily, several yeah. times a day. And that hasn't um, changed. Either. It was it was <laughs> the, the posts were relatively no nonsense apart from the nonsense. Um, and uh, I kind of agreed with the the angles that you came at things. So you okay. just felt like a natural choice, You're, mainly because, like I say, the amount that you were posting, the amount that you were contributing, that's what kind of did it. 
I mean, honestly, I'm, I'm hugely grateful to that as well, because it's I, I personally feel that it's kind of set my life in a trajectory that wouldn't have been there otherwise. And yeah. obviously, you guys know I now work with Longpack, and I think that has been integral in uh, this group. So, uh, but yeah, I'm massively grateful. And I'm, I think I'm, it's a privileged position to be in as well. I do like it. I like, it's, it's always been my pleasure. Like the rest of the group, like running the group. It's never mm. really felt, it's never ever felt like work. It's always been an absolute joy, really. No, there has been peaks when uh, people have been a bit antsy, should we say, like certain um, times of the year, maybe, when things there have was, got a bit out of hand. Th- there was a period of, 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 of about, <laughs> about seven or eight months where there was one blow up a month yeah. over, <laughs> well, I won't say nothing, but, you know, things of little concern, just a huge blow up, like a, t- a 250 long thread of, arguing um yeah but yeah about once a month for, for maybe nearly a year and then it, it died it died off again it has and it's re- it's really settled down now and like you were saying earlier mark it has got a real community feel to it <laughs> like no other group i'm in i think um i feel like no, i no. know many people that are in the group uh like personally even though i see like a little avatar picture but i chat to them there kind of thing i feel like i know a lot of these people yeah. and obviously you guys as Absolutely. well i met all of you through the group yeah mm. Everyone feels well for the most part when you meet meet up at cons and that. Everyone, it does. It is. It's an instant sort of handshake, hug, whatever. It, it, yeah. It's not like it's never like meeting strangers. Yeah. No, absolutely not. not. Anyway. The t the t shirts, by the way, were a brilliant idea. I don't remember if it was yours initially, Chris, or whatever. Mine, but that, yeah. that t shirt that year that I everyone I saw, I took a picture with. That really gave us an idea yeah. of how popular that was because we yeah, saw yeah. well over a hundred people walking around in those t-shirts, it, and it was it really was my cool. idea, and it was Mark's design. Oh, oh well, brilliant. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Speaking of conventions, Tara is asking, do you plan on doing any board game trading chat UK meetups at future conventions? We've planned that for, for at least four <laughs> years. Yeah. It's been discussed for a long time, but like I say it's all my fault I'm, I'm I'm far too relaxed as far as running the group's concerned yeah. far too relaxed virgin and lazy maybe, <laughs> maybe. well that's that's a good manager yeah. Chris yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is something yeah it's your job to make my life easier uh, exactly. it is something that we should we should genuinely get on board with but the main issue that I've got is that I don't want to step on any toes and when you look at the convention calendar uh, you, you know, you'd be if I run a convention that's three weeks away from another convention of a friend that's in the group. Yeah. I mean, if I was them, I wouldn't be happy. Mm-hmm. Just finding that weekend and f- yeah. finding location because nobody's going to want to come to Blackpool. You know, if we do, if we run it where I live, the numbers going to be no, too low. No. We're not running it down south. Um, <laughs> so it's just you know, well, there's, there's lots, lots of questions. But yeah, we'd we'd love, definitely would love to do it, but logistically, really, we need to get the admins in a room. Actually, we'll have to do a Zoom chat about it. Yeah, I'm happy to do that. Yeah, we'll have to we'll have to have a, a proper conversation about it. <laughs> I do know somebody, a very good friend of mine in Blackpool, runs uh, Tapcom, which is a tattoo convention, and it's a very very big popular convention run in Blackpool. So again, on the logistics side, he would be an ideal person to get involved, and you know, he has everything set up as far as uh, well everything that you, you that you do at Aircon, he does here. Mm-hmm. so we'll see it, it might happen fingers crossed and Martin uh, we'll I ask you, is... sorry I was going to ask you the yeah. same question that we asked Chris before your favourite game uh, my favourite game is I mean it is a little bit like choosing my favourite child I think um, I can do that I've, I've always <laughs> said <laughs> I've always said like the top sort of five or ten maybe a bit fluid and maybe not set in stone but i think um it's very likely to be the fantasy flight sid my civilization right. uh, i've loved that ever oh, since cool. i got it and every game i've played of it i love so. i do have that very good. yeah it's one of those that's really popular in in my play group as well like everyone seems to love it so it's <clears throat> never have a bad game of it and that's lord of water deep for us <laughs> you smiled them <laughs> Sam, that's I'm... all. That's always that. That and Discworld are our are our fallback games when we can't when we can't decide what to play. It's always that or Discworld. Very good. Uh, a lot of people asking around how drunk you are at this point, Martin. I don't know why. Whether you've got Me, some kind of uh, reputation. I, I'm, I'm having a celebratory Bailey's in honour of the uh, the the Mist Bailey. Expo, and that's it. I'm, I am about as sober as I get at the moment. <laughs> Best luck. 
I've got a reputation for being Jack drunk. Daniels and Co. <laughs> Nice. Uh, this, is the, uh, this is the Jack Daniels. <laughs> <laughs> um, very good. Uh, apparently, Jenny just sneaked in behind you at some point. Yeah, so I believe uh, she's she's <laughs> in the garden doing an oil painting. So she had to sneak in and get some paint. So she, I think she was. I didn't actually notice, but I noticed the chat. I think she was crawling along the floor behind me. And now lots oh, of people she... are joking that because all the admins are on here, they're all starting uh, controversial posts. Um, in the group, I didn't actually think of that. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Board game I'll, trading I'll and tap uh, chat tattoos. Well, that would have been better. Board game trading and tat. There you go. I might get one at some point. I'm going to get another one on my arm. So um, it's either that or the Sandman again. <laughs> uh, and for some reason, a lot of people are talking about Telford. I don't know why Telford. But Isn't maybe that game location. Game yeah, maybe. Um, Maybe. Yeah, Telford will be good. Yeah, no. Very good. And uh, Martin, I believe you are going to join us for the quiz on Saturday. You're going to come on, have a, have a hand at what is otherwise known as just have a guess. Every round is just have a guess. Sure. I'm, around. <laughs> I'm available all weekend and for children's parties. So. <laughs> Very uh, good. If we're going to do a quiz, hang on, hang on. That's better. Oh, yeah. I forgot. So you can't see my shifty eyes. <laughs> <laughs> No, but we still know they're there. <laughs> but it's been a pleasure chatting. I'm going to kick you off now, and I'm going to get the no other worries, dude. the other Martin on. Um, but you'll be about through some of the interviews and chats over the weekend. Um, so Indeed, we'll yeah. Look forward to speaking to you again then. Bye. Cheerio. See you later, mate. Bye. There we go. Oh, there he is. Hello. Hello. <laughs> London calling. London calling. Evening. How are you doing, boys? Very good. You okay? Yeah, I forgot to say at the start uh, what we're going to do for everyone. Obviously, um, as you might have seen tonight, is the last um, clap for carers or whatever it's called. Clap for carers and key workers. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to break just a couple of minutes before eight. Uh, I will give anybody that doesn't want to go out and clap um, another uh, listen to our hold music, which... Uh, Oh, that was brilliant. It was lovely, isn't it? That was brilliant, Mark. That was a lovely touch. I've got to say that. Was a, <laughs> I haven't heard your it. Your consummate professional, Mark, <laughs> in everything you do. Um, obviously, all, all the jokes are coming out already in the chat. Hi, Louis Noble. Um, there we go. Uh, yeah, well, I can't see the chat. Um, it's just as well. Otherwise, I may react quite violently to that kind of talk. <laughs> Louis is much more... I, was uh, say. I think everybody knows That's not a joke. <laughs> and I'm the only one of the two of us that doesn't colour their beard. <laughs> yes. I am naturally this colour. <laughs> all of those colours. Yeah, Louis' beard that. does look like it's got a bit out of hand. It's massive. Yeah. I think he's telling me some sort of breakdown. I think that someone should actually drive down <laughs> and see if he's okay. An intervention with a razor. Well, he's doing it for our entertainment, but he may be a cry for help. Someone should go down there. I'm telling you now. He's, 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 he's dying help into his beard in some way. If we shine ultraviolet on the screen, we'll probably be able to see that. But, uh, serious, sorry, just briefly, well, Ben has put in. Serious question for Martin yes, A. I good. guess that's you. Yeah. How does he go about researching those great uh, milestone posts? Which is a very good question. Ben, he's got nothing else to do. I'm just so bored. <laughs> I'm so bored. That it's I, it. London I, I literally will read telephone directories. I will. That, I'll go and yeah. see Londoners. <laughs> it, it's just nothing going on in the south. It's all the actions up in the north, as you know, Chris. We've had this conversation <laughs> yeah. many, many times. Yeah. It's God's own country it's up the there. And, oh, yeah. And, you know, there's so many of us in the south that we cannot l physically leave our houses because it's no, so congested it. down here. So I'm locked inside, just researching things that nobody else is interested in. Because you know I'm too old to get up and walk without assistance, that kind of thing. And I spend a lot of time in the to toilet as well, Ben. And that's where most of that research comes from. But thank you for your question. <laughs> you go. Very good. Uh, and then Chewie wants to know how much you Nick paid you to wear the t-shirt. So. Oh well, I was speaking to Nick today, and he was gutted that he didn't get a slot because he'd only actually woken up and figured out that we were doing something this weekend, this morning. So um, I'm representing Nick. He's in the group all the time as well. I know, I know, but he obviously doesn't pay, pay attention, Chris. This is where we we winnow out those people with low attention um, disorders. Yeah. So I'm representing for you, Nick, tonight. 
Um, just so you know what we're thinking of you. Keep going, mate. Keep plugging along. Yeah. We're all behind you. Ambassador. And if you can get a good-looking model wearing your T-shirt, mate, you're halfway there. Yeah, just like the... Uh, there we go. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> this, this time you, to get... Completely now, knackered time to sort that out. Yeah. <laughs> I never actually got my Ludacrist back a T-shirt. I was like... I quite yeah. like the T-shirt. I'm not going to drive all the way down there to get my... Uh... I physically had to go and get it because yeah, yeah. Nick's too tight to actually pay out for the postage. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, Martin's asking if he can come back on at the end to plug a competition. Yes, you absolutely can, Martin, in the comments. That's a good cool. idea. We'll do that um, after... We've had enough of we, we, When you've when when finished his wife's drink. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Chris, after... Uh, a while of just you and Martin, you then decided it was time to square the Martinage. Um, mm. yeah. And you brought yeah, Anderton. Yeah, what a decision that was. <laughs> yes. How did that come Again. about? Wait, wait. I've got a serious question, Chris. Why did Go you on. do that? No, no, <laughs> neither of us have enjoyed the, the whole process. Why did you do that? Well, um, again, the, the prime reason was that um, it got to the point where the numbers meant that just more eyes on on the beast was a was a good idea obviously when we did the charity thing me and you worked our nuts off for was it about eight weeks or something like that it, it felt longer we honest. worked so hard together on that well together and independently because obviously effectively you you took a day i took a day you took a day and so on and so on and you put so much you put so much work into it and at, 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 like i say at the same time we needed another admin i just I just felt like you were the right person to do it. I just thought you put so much effort into it that you could, it, it was a, a kind of a, a no-brainer. It was a, like a, a situation I couldn't lose because obviously in the future you were going to maybe put as much effort in again. And clearly that's what you've done this weekend because this is this this weekend coming up is is uh, entirely your baby. Well, it's um, not really. It's it's a kind of a baby yeah. that Mark and I have had together. Uh, <laughs> right. I'm, I'm, I'm not entirely sure which of this it's is like 50% gold more. and 50% tree there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, Mark's basically been, been a star. I mean, if I'm okay, perfect... Always. always. If I'm, yeah, he is. He's, he's a very hard-working individual. And um, I couldn't have done it without Mark. And um, and the rest of you guys, the rest of you guys have stood out. And so it's so, not all about me at the end of the day, is it? So... Well, it, no, not well, usually. It, it, it for, kind for, of is mostly about me, but it, Mark for, has helped. For at least five, five or six bit. years, Mark's been uh, the silent admin, effectively, in the group. T-shirts wouldn't happen without Well, T-shirts would happen without Mark, but they would take me a lot more work. Um, yeah, it's good job they don't all come in Mark's size, really, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, it's, but I've been doing Although Joe Wicks. the same size. Have <laughs> you? Yeah, I've been doing Joe Wicks. It's not, not, it's not it done like anything. It looks like you're eating Joe Wicks. one in the What's uh, quite off-putting for everyone in the chat is Martin is still on the Sky. Other Martin is still in the Skype, and we've just got him laughing in our ears here. Um, yeah, I know. Yeah. Should have left it on. I'm I sorry, mean, I'm sorry. Yeah. If you leave them, if you just leave them on and tell them to be quiet while we're, while we're doing the new, the new yeah, person. Yeah, yeah. He has oh. got, it works. He's got quite a good Just a bit small on the screen. Um so, well, quite a girly everything. Lee uh, Quillen is asking if you know where the toilets are. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Lee. Um, it, Lee did actually nice. approach me uh, um, uh, kind of circuitously. He snuck up behind me and he did tap me on the shoulder in one convention and did ask me where the toilets were. So he did catch me out. Um, I did kiss him, actually. I think I'm <laughs> the only person who's actually kissed Lee Quillen. I'm quite prepared to actually own up to that. Um, so he got I'm sure other people have. Did catch well, not not willingly, probably. <laughs> Maybe not bearded one. <laughs> yeah. Well, we've got someone in the chat here, Freya. I don't know. Oh, uh, that's my daughter. She just wants to know who your favourite daughter is. Um, that would um, that would be one of the boys, Freya. <laughs> Harsh. It depends Harsh. if you're going to make me a cup of tea after this, darling. Someone that doesn't exercise in the games room. See, what, what I would like to know is if there is anybody else in this group that have got children who are old enough to have children as members. That would be a good question. I'm sure. I'm sure. Must be a few. Actually, ad adult children. Adult. I've got members. children that are old enough to be a pain in the ass. I've got grandchildren <laughs> who are members in this group. I'm just not as surprised. <laughs> uh, someone is asking, which is kind of an interesting question, how you get 
posts to get more traction in the Facebook group because they say the Facebook make them interesting. Mm-hmm. That I, um, I, I, that kind of thing, really. I I just don't even look into if they get traction, they get traction. Having said that, if I post and I'm think I think it's the same with all the other admins, it gets traction because I think everyone sees it. Mm-hmm. Normally, Absolutely. normally, if you post in the group, uh, the only your friends in the group will get a notification that you have posted. Whereas if I think in I think if an admin posts, everyone gets a notification. That's, that's because, because everyone gets so angry, Chris, at what we say. <laughs> it, it automatically generates some sort of um, pitch wall. Could be that. Um, a mob, a mob forms instantly when we post. I've always found the best way is to uh, do a slight spelling mistake in the main post. You know, oh, yeah. put the wrong your. I'm, I'm gold. I'm actually going Do you know what? Right I, I've noticed specifically that. I've noticed that. I don't think I've ever seen a spelling correction in the group. No. I don't think I've ever seen it. No. I, I think you've everyone's done, a bit too polite. You've done it now. You've done it now, mate. <laughs> oh, you yeah. have absolutely done crazy. your boots on that now. Um, all right, well, Martin. I, three months of your life. <clears throat> we're going to say a goodbye to you here so people that want to clap can I've go and clap. Favorite game. I've got a list. Oh, what's oh, favorite? favorite games. All right, well, stay on. Here we'll come go. We'll come back to you after <laughs> the break that? then, just so you can tell us your favorite game. I'll be robbed. Did a grandchild write that? Just stay on, um, and then we'll come back. And then we're going to chat to Leanne. Uh, so I need to get her into Skype. Um, but I'm going to stick this lovely music on again. We'll see you on in five minutes. <laughs>
Yay! We're back. Um, so, yeah, I hope you have been yeah. enjoying... That's going to be our theme tune, I think, for the weekend. Um, you guys will have I need, to get... I need to hear it. I have no idea what it is yet. It's surprisingly hard to get royalty-free music on the internet. Uh, so I once, in one of the quizzes that I do, um, I used an Aphex Twin song that I thought was a fairly random one oh. off, off one of his, like, kind of fairly unknown albums, and I got a notification from Facebook telling me that they no. were going to... They had muted that bit of the video. Oh my god! Because it picked up that. I thought you were saying come round to your house and back you up or something. (laughs) Yeah, they just sent loads of little (laughs) girls like that looked like him. It was all very scary. (laughs) (laughs) Come on and finish us off with your favourite game. Favourite. Well, Uh, I am. I am very good at finishing people off, Mark. Thank you for setting me up. Um... (laughs) I know. I stayed over at your house once. (laughs) You did. You're. You're the only current admin I've slept with at the moment, but I'll get to the rest of you in June course. So, <laughs> what would you like to know, Mark? Um, your just your. It's, I'll, it's go for your favorite game. Go for favorite that, favorite that, game. That spider writing. Well, well, I do like Orleans. Orleans has got a very Ooh. special place in my heart. Look, this is about a opinion. carry on. Sorry, go on. Go on. <laughs> I do like all of these. I do like Andos um, Hotel. I also like um, Rococo. It's another one of my favourites. Mm-hmm. I do like Great Western Trail. I could go on and on and on. I, I like um, uh, games um, where there isn't a great deal of harshness to the um, to the mechanisms. So. Mm. That if you make a very early mistake that uh, you can't catch up, I don't like games like that. I don't do cooperative games because what's the point? You either win or you don't. <laughs> I don't like social games. That is yeah, the, point. the point. That's the whole point of really playing, isn't it? Is it whole subject matter right there for a post somewhere? <laughs> what is the point in playing a game where everybody wins? It's nanny state all over again. You either win or you lose. There's no in between. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't like I don't like social production games very much either. Again, I, I don't see the point. I can see um, that. It, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I, I like games with mechanisms whereby you, you 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 can win or lose by your own mistakes, but not like in the first move. So don't get me started on food chain magnet. Horrible, horrible game. In fact, <laughs> if I saw a food chain magnet walking down the street towards me. I'd probably punch. I'd probably get involved in a fight with it. I hate it. All those, all those games. For, like, That's no surprise. Not for me. Not for me. So, to end this segment, the games Martin likes and doesn't like. Food <laughs> games, Chain Magnet. Don't ever give me that, Mark. Please don't. <laughs> I do like Tammany Hall as well. Special Tammany mention Hall. for Tammany Hall. Have you? Um, are you so, getting uh, the new Rococo? You mentioned Rococo there. Second edition. I, I can't see the. Yeah, I can't see the point. I've already got the old edition. That's good enough for me. Given that I only play every other year, what's the point? Mm-hmm. You know, if it was good enough the first time round, as I keep saying to my wife, it's good enough the second time round, isn't it? <laughs> okay. And on that, on that point, before we get yanked off the, off of Facebook, <laughs> I'll leave you with Leanne. Uh, no, we're going to go to Martin. And I, back to Martin quickly for a competition. Oh yeah, we are. Yeah. Uh, but thank you, Martin. We are going to see you quite a lot over the um, you are more over the weekend. Welcome. And thank you so much for setting this <laughs> up. I need to speak to you, Martin. Actually. <laughs> right. We'll see you soon. <laughs> okay. We'll stick Martin back on. Hello. Welcome Hello. back. <laughs> I'm reinserting myself into the centre of the you video. Are. <laughs> so you've got a, okay, a fun so... competition to let us know about. Indeed, yes. So our friends at Natural 20 Tables, who have run a competition on the group of four, have kindly offered to give us a a four by two tulip wood table with LED lights worth over a thousand pounds to give away uh, in the group. Um, Just a, a caveat, it won't come with any attachments or the lid, but you can buy those separately. So it's just the table with the LED lights. So... I will make a post about this on the group, um, but what we would like you to do is reenact either a box cover or card from a, any board game you want and post it as a picture, a photograph on the group alongside the actual uh, picture as well so we can gauge them. And we, 
uh, the group here, and probably Daniel from Natural 20 as well, will uh, give an amount of judgment to see which one we think is the best, and you will win a lovely gaming table. And I have one myself, and I can't possibly <coughs> say anything bad about them. I love them. So we will at some that is point pin... Sorry, Martin, we will at no. some point pin the rules down as far as picking a winner. But it yeah. will be... I'm, I'm assuming we will be individually judging it and putting the numbers into a database as opposed to a group discussion. Yeah, I... I, I I, yeah, I haven't really. I mean, this literally There'll came be a few up judges, fifteen minutes maybe, before yeah. the. Yeah. I was wondering whether we should all pick a short, like pick one each as a short list, and then sh get Daniel to maybe pick the overall winner from those, or maybe just have it as a communal vote or something. I don't know, but there'll something be a, like there'll be an official ruling, and that yeah. will be announced. <laughs> absolutely. Um, but we want to see. Oh, yeah. We want you to amuse us. Uh, we want to see some creativity. They do not have to be in any way perfect. Okay, uh, the the more amateur, the oh, better. Oh, they won't but, be. But, yeah, but we want to we want to be laughing. We want this to be a, a nice social thing that you guys do, and you could well win a table out of it. So Millie is asking in the chat whether Chewy can be the radiologist from Dice Hospital. Uh, uh, well, maybe cheating. That's cheating. Yeah. That's cheating. <laughs> Great, awesome. So uh, watch out for the post for that and uh, get thinking. Um, yeah, I might do fast sloths because I already look like a bit like a sloth at the minute. Um, cool. Well, thank you, Martin. Um, we'll see you around. We're going to get Leanne on. There we go. Thanks, man. Enjoy. Hi, Leanne. Hello. How are you? Evening. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm, I'm dreading to think what people are going to ask in the chat. <laughs> So we'll as, if, as Martin said earlier, I do have a child that is an adult and that is old enough to join the group, and he is not a member because I know what you guys will like. <laughs> oh, wise. <laughs> Very good. Um, so, sort of the same question, Chris. Then, so again, it was uh, you and the Martins for a while, and then you had a kind of a bumper added, a couple of admins at once, Leanne being one of them. Um, so where did you yeah. get to with that and kind of why Leanne uh, we um, we had a period where there was a um, there was a certain there was a quite a few posts that seemed like they needed uh, effectively a female eye as an admin we, we were we were effectively three middle aged white men standing in judgement you know we were saying this 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 post shouldn't happen. This post shouldn't happen, and it was rightly mentioned that maybe it, that we we had to get the uh, the opposite sex uh, like in on the deal effectively. So um, I think I discussed it with the other admins about maybe stretching the team by several as opposed to just adding one. <clears throat> was it? Did we invite all three at once? I can't remember. I think it was. They were very close to each other. Yeah, I feel like it but was Leanne, three at once. Yeah. Le Leanne, I had, uh, I, I, I had personally interacted with in the group before because I think the first post that you put in the group was asking. You were trying to get hold of some X-wing things, but it feels. I was. Sudden. I was trying to get hold of Millennium Falcon X-wing about five days before Christmas. Yeah. Getting delivered in time. And, I, and you guys I all turned could, me on to it. Yeah, I said I could get one from Blackpool and meet you on the motorway with it but you ended yeah. up getting one anyway so it was sort of so f from that we interacted a few times and um, so I just felt you know um, that she would she would be a good choice because of you know the interactions had, had always felt very natural and they, all went, they always went well and there was never any again it's, it's a case of when you see someone posting the group as well and they tend to post things that you agree with then that's the kind of person really you want as an admin, or maybe not. Maybe you maybe should get somebody that you don't agree with. But um, <laughs> like I say, I like things nice and relaxed. And uh, we are fairly getting... relaxed, don't we? Oh, absolutely, yeah. So yeah, that was it, really. Like I say, just based on on past it, interactions between us. Very good. Um, let me see. Oh, there was a question that came up. No, I'm not going to read that one out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who that really? question's even to. Martin has posted, yes, we did invite all three at once, and there was long discussions about who we should choose. Ah. Oh, I always say that you caught me at a vulnerable moment, because I remember getting this text message from you, 
and I was sitting in a hospital ward in tears because my youngest was in theatre and they told me the operation was going to take an hour and we were three hours in. I remember sitting right. there staring at my phone going, what's, what, what's this now? Right. <laughs> and it I took my mind that. off it for a while. Um, and, uh, and I thought, yeah, you got me at a vulnerable moment. And I said, yes. That's but I'm so glad I did because that's, like, <laughs> that's how you do it. But now I think, um, like you say, we share the same sort of mindset, same sort of ethics set, I think. Um, but, I, but I can still bring a different perspective. So it's best of both worlds, yeah. I think, like you say, not having somebody who's the opposite, but somebody who agrees with you, but can offer a different viewpoint. And that's important in a group, especially of the size it is now. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, and I'd say we were talking earlier about the kind of the community feel of the group. And I'd say that, <coughs> Leanne, for me, I'd say you're, you're up there really driving that kind of community spirit. Probably probably the admin that gets to most conventions. I don't think I've been to a convention that you've not it's been It's my only time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, uh, and that's another thing where the, the T-shirts work well, because um, especially if people are wandering around looking a bit lost, the T-shirts give me license to walk up to them. And I do literally walk up to people and go, ball game trading chap t-shirt person and yeah. they go what what yeah yeah me and it's really nice to see the face light up and they think oh there's somebody else here who knows who we are yes we're part of a team we're part of a community in a club and having yeah, that little thing i think helps people this is what does that for me people yeah. people see this and then yeah people say hello <laughs> very good but, yeah, yeah the community thing is very much there and that's it's it. crazy though isn't it because i get a lot of people that do come up to me and go oh, you're leanne and it's like that yeah, yeah what have i done <laughs> Trouble. <laughs> when me and Mick do conventions together, uh, which has happened a few times, people come up and say it's Chris and Mick, which is <laughs> there you go. Not what you want. Not what you want. <laughs> An association. <laughs> but it's good, and I and I do like the community. And yeah, I go to a lot of conventions, and I'm able to 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 do the customer service and 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 bring people in because. I know we've talked about it in the past in terms of mental health and gaming. There's a lot of that going on. It's something I'm personally affected by. And I don't ever want to see somebody sat up there on their own too scared mm -hmm. to come and say hi. Yeah. Um, so I'll go out of my way to try and push that back for people as much as I can. That's very good. And, and you, you, started know, really, you started Roll Through It recently as well, which is a great initiative. Yeah, so, <clears throat> yeah. Um, really good. And really well. So of course we piloted it at Aircon with you. We did, yeah. Um, and we had some new people come in. We had existing members use it, um, and it was it was just nice to see people enjoying that sort of safe haven in a convention where it can be so manic. Yeah, yeah. And where it can be difficult to make the first people interact. Um, and obviously we were looking forward to bringing that to many more places during the year, and that's not going to happen now. Um, but it's not being forgotten about. It's still an initiative we're carrying on with, and it's still something we're going to do a lot of next year. Ooh. it's really cool very cool um and so um obviously this is the the pinnacle of questions here uh for a board game group <laughs> uh but what would you say is, be my favorite what's your favorite game you can do you can cheat game, like you uh, my favorite admin i was gonna have to like <laughs> <it>. um, <laughs> that's an easy question <laughs> it's an easy one, I um, I, look i proved it was easy before it's all me <laughs> um it's hard with games because i tend to have i i yeah, I don't do a lot of regular gaming. I tend to go all at once and get a few favourites at once. Um, I've done a lot of online gaming since we've been off because I don't have a regular weekly group. So a con would normally be where I get the majority of my games played and I'm massively missing that interaction and that gameplay. Um, but I've learned um, La Grania online, loving that. Um, Clans of Caledonia, getting really into that. Lots of Lords of Waterdeep on Steam. Um, lots of Thurn and Taxis on... Is it you? Do you like Thurn and Taxis? No, Lords on Steam. Oh, oh yeah, well, yeah, hit me up. I'll give you a game. Um, yeah, so I've got lots of, lots of online stuff going. Chocolate Factory I've been turned on to recently in terms of solo gaming as well, and that's been really good. So uh, so no massive favourite, but yeah, lots of worker placement stuff at the minute. That that, that does it for me. Lots of, um, not point salad games, but things like Legrani where you've got a lot of free actions where you really can steam through and get a lot accomplished. I like getting a lot accomplished. I like games with lots of things. I'm very tactile as a person, as many of you will know. Um, so, yeah. So, that, that's what does it for me. Very good. Thank you very much. Sorry. Just had an emergency message about um, some open gaming thing. Um, oh. oh. That's fine. Um, me asking a developer questions and they're getting back to me. <laughs> and I'm not answering. Um, very good. Uh, what's the game you hate the most and would avoid playing? 
Oh, that's tricky. Who's that? I don't, there's yeah, anything I can, you first. I'm struggling because even games that I'm really, really rubbish at, I still enjoy playing them because unlike Anston, it's not all about the competition. For me, it's about the people. Yeah. Um, and having that ability to be able, you know, that excuse to be able to interact with people. Um, so even games that I routinely fail abysmally, like Splendor, something so simple, but I can now, I'm always like two turns away from winning or one turn away from getting some points. Um, I'll still happily play because for me it's it's about people. So uh, I don't think anything I particularly really hate. Oh. About you, Chris? Um hate i don't know i i used to i used to think that i hated uh, fortune and glory because just simply because of the amount of time it takes the fact that they wrote downtime into into the game as a mechanism i just found insane but uh, to be fair i think that might just be because i played it twice with the same group and it and i think they took forever i think maybe if i played it with a group that knew how to play it and was more competent might not be that bad Takedo famously, I don't think is a game, so I can't hate that as a game. Uh, but I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't. Really I know think what game you hate. Go on. Dead monster. Oh. No, yeah, yeah, you're right. I hate. I hate Kingdom Death Monster. I hate that so much. But I, I tell you why. I can tell you exactly why. Because as you know, my history in gaming is is from role playing, and I don't think it's right that you should be able to play through a, um, an evening of uh, fighting a monster or whatever, and then you go back to the, the, the town phase, and you roll a d6, and one of your characters murders, uh, sorry, your character murders the character that you, your mate's been playing. And even worse... I died on the way roll, there, didn't I? <laughs> you roll the dice, yeah, you roll the dice before the fight, and if you roll a, roll a six or a one or whatever, your character dies, and you can't play that night. You have to play the monster instead. I'm not being funny, but that to me seems like horseshit. <laughs> but, and, and I do, and I know people love it. Gravy. I know, yeah, it's uh, yeah. We did see, a, yeah, it is it's arse gravy. I know people like it, and that's fine. People, I mean, I'm assuming most people that like it don't come from role playing. But when you, when you, when you, when I mean, in the past, I've played the same character for 15 years. To play a character for one night and then be told that your character's murdered another player's character simply because of one die, so not mm. because of a decision, mental. Yeah. And the cost of it as well, it's ridiculous. And penises everywhere. It's just no need. <laughs> is that in the game or is that just part of... Yeah, miniatures, penises. <laughs> it's just, <everywhere>. great. <laughs> just part of day-to-day -day life. Yeah. If you're going to do penises everywhere, do Geiger or go home. <laughs> That's the way I look at it. Very good. Um, well, thank you, Leanne, uh, so much for, for popping on. Say hi. Again, we'll be seeing you through the weekend on various interviews and stuff. And I, th I believe you're going to join us for the quiz, quiz as well. It's going to be... Um, yeah. Leanne between the two Martins um, for the quiz. Mm, I don't um, know if I signed up for that. <laughs> um, oh, I know there was one question in the group that I do have to address. Apparently, I have to look at the camera and keep a very straight face and say, Olden Girls for Martin Paul. Oh, well done. Great. <laughs> He's a bit weird, isn't he? Um, when we went to Essen, there was, um, on the way back toward Diggs, there was a strip club called Golden Girls. But the the first G, the lights have gone out, <laughs> so it just said "olden girls,", Olden girls. Um, and it's formed the basis of two years worth of jokes now. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> well, it's been a pleasure, and uh, we'll chat to you again tomorrow at some point. Uh, okay. Thanks, Leon. Question in the group from Daz: What are your thoughts on Gloomhaven from a uh, a role play uh, from a role playing gamer? Um, well, quickly just say hello to Andrew because I've just added him in and that was oh, going to be a bit awkward brilliant. if you were going <laughs> to just yeah, chat him. Evening, chaps. I'll just, I'll, no, I'll just cover that bit the screen up. <laughs> <laughs> evening, mate. So Gloomhaven. Yes. Very, very clever. Very clever game. Very clever card system. You need to put many hours into it, really, obviously. Um, for me, it feels like a board game. It also feels like, I know Paul Grogan's going to disagree with me, and he's probably right. To me, I think I played 12 or 13 games. It feels like an arena fight. It's not a dungeon crawl. Hmm. Because of the way the card system works and the way that you run out of actions effectively, you, there's no room for corridors. So you have a room and maybe two small rooms off it. It's an arena fight. And it's always an arena fight. And I think 11 of the 12 or 13 games I played was effectively kill everyone on the map. 
There wasn't the story, even enough not, story. Yeah, there wasn't the story not around. fleshed out enough. So yeah. from from a role playing aspect, it's terrible. From a board game aspect, it is very very clever. But having said that, I don't want to play a hundred games of anything. In the game, in, a, in you know, in a world where there are this many board games to play, I don't want to go. Oh, it's game night. What we're we playing? We're playing that again. So not for me, unfortunately. Very good. And so um, yes, welcome to Andrew. Uh, probably the person that has sold the makers of Core Space more copies than they've managed to sell anywhere else. Have you seen my pile? <laughs> Can you see my pile in the background over there? I can't. I don't, see I don't want to take. I'm not taking responsibility. <laughs> That was that was that was not my fault. Because it's kind of funny because it's a not an old game, but it's certainly not like a brand new game, is it? And then no, no product placement. No product placement. <laughs> um, and then yeah, everyone seems to suddenly be going bananas for it. It was a good review. What, so I think I answered a question before that was in the chat around what makes a a post get noticed. Yeah. My my opinion on that is is a good picture. You include a picture with it, whether it's a sales post, a discussion post, it gets more, it gets more screened, real estate, yeah. and people see them. And the thing with core space is the pictures do look beautiful. They're also easy to find, much easier to find when you post a yeah. picture. We're scrolling down the group quickly. Yeah, yeah. It's so much easier to find when you go back yeah. to it. Yeah. Very good. And uh, I guess you've been playing a fair bit of that then to get so many pictures out there. I, well, I did. I did. I played about five games of it, and then I put it away, and I've gone to other things. I am, uh, yeah. I, I move around quite a bit with gaming. I take to have spurts on one game, and then move on to something else. And there's always the the, the, the next hotness. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you play more than I, I think anyone I know. And you know, I know a lot of it solo. But yeah. when I, if I will sit down and play three or four hours on a PC game, I think you'd much rather sit down and play with cardboard for three or four hours. I think yeah. you do that most days, if anything. Yeah, which is and awesome. you know what? We've managed to keep doing it through through the um, through this whole lockdown period, the craziness of COVID. I've actually so I've been playing. We've been playing D and D on table um, roll twenty. Yeah. And I, if I wasn't forced to do it, I wouldn't have learned those systems. Mm-hmm. And it's the same with TTS. I hated TTS the first time. <clears throat> Why? Yeah. All like to move, yeah, yeah, yeah. move a market around in a virtual world. But then, uh, but then being forced to do it, it's been uh, it's been a blessing. It's kept me sane. So yeah, I've between used, I've used Roll Twenty quite a lot because of the TV, obviously, and the table. It's mm-hmm. yeah, absolutely if using a laptop and the telly. It's so good. It makes it so much. You know, if if, if your players want to say, right, we're going to go over there, yeah. we're going to go look at that farm. Uh, you quickly look for a floor. Use Google floor plan farm. Throw it up. It's so much quicker than drawing or. Finding the floor plans. Oh, and it looks yeah, it's great. Roll twenty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it's yeah. brilliant, brilliant system. And like you say, TTS. I, I, I bought it year, ages and ages ago. <clears throat> never looked at it. Never looked at it at all. But now we've been forced to use it. The the game of Blood Rage that we played the other night. <laughs> it's great. It's fantastic. The systems, if it's done right, it's so clever. So yeah. I mean, when you get when you get used to the shortcuts and you yeah, know you yeah. played with it for even an hour, you, you just it's, it's so much easier than I expect it to be. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and that that Blood Rage version is far better than the um, yeah. the official one just released on Steam. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I think it's I uninstalled it in in about eight minutes. I'm stupid. <laughs> Uninstall, get rid. I think the funniest yeah, thing is I got the miniatures for it. The biggest complaint you had was that some of the minis don't look. Some of the things didn't look like the actual. Oh minis. no, yeah, that, that's the only problem with the, with the TTS version of it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Fenrir looks like a cat. It's like some <laughs> pussy cat. Yeah, <laughs> the figures aren't good, but it doesn't matter, does it? Yeah. The, the system's brilliant. Very good. Uh, so, uh, as before, we kind of mentioned it already that uh, Andrew was part of the a mass adding, almost doubling of the team at the time. So, what led to you, uh, Andrew, being one of those selected? Uh, if anything, Andrew was the easiest admin to 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 choose. Because again, at the time he was posting and still does post a lot, but I, I, I had this weird feeling about Andrew that every post that he made, at the time every game that he played, every decision he made, it felt like it's the exact would be the exact same thing that I would do, the same game that I would play, the same games I like, 
Game just, wins. It honestly, it honestly felt like he was posting on my behalf. Uh, the way we think, and the, well, I, I, I assume it's the same now. The way we thought at the time, very, very similar. Mm. And I just thought I have to, I have to, uh, you know, if, if if anyone right now deserves to be uh, picked, then it, yeah. it's going to be him. We we both grew up on on D and D in the uh, yeah. in the yeah. early eighties. We're both <laughs> northerners. Both not not, not yeah. a million miles away from each other. Nope. Yeah, it was it was honestly the the posts that I kept seeing, it was really spooky. There was in fact one post that I that I saw that I thought I'd posted, <laughs> and then I saw that I hadn't. Genuinely, it was really really spooky. So I thought, well, yeah, why why not? Very good. And have you actually yeah. managed to play a game together in real life, IRL? We have. We we played Terraforming Mars hmm. in Family yeah. Three. Uh, Family Three, yeah. Yeah, using you were using um, Venus. You had, did you have two Venus bonuses? And you, I had you won on that. Everyone kept giving me the uh, the perfect cards in the draft. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah you won. <laughs> it was a really cracking victory. Using, I think it was. I think you had two two of the Venus scoring things. Yeah. Very yeah, very good, 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 fun game. Have you heard about this one? Um, I was down at Handicon back in January, and there were some people playing all of the maps at the same time. Mm. And like. Lasted. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. To I'm not past. I think it took them something like seven hours. Um, I bet. I've just played. So not hours. much longer than a normal game. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't get kicked out the store, so I couldn't have t- taken that long. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, like Chris is like Chris with you, then Andrew, that D and D is still your favourite game to play. I don't. I, I have no hesitation. Favourite game is D and D. Favourite board game is Twilight Imperium Four. Oh. Easy. Which. I really need to play. Absolutely love it. Don't play it enough, obviously, because it is a longer game. But, yeah. but I, the, the gaming group I play with mainly are absolutely brilliant. And we, we're all sort of at the same mindset and the same skill level. And none of us are AP prone. So our TI4 yeah. games take five hours. Yeah. And done. And it's, it's Richard's in that group, isn't he? Yeah, Richard. Yeah, he, yeah. he said I should get in on the game at some point, And I should yeah, get in yeah. on the game at some point. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. 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 Graham's just said, I was sitting next to the three-map game of Terraforming Mars. It was insane. Of course you were sitting next to it because we were playing games together with the Graham. So. <laughs> so if I was sat next to it, you were probably sat next to it. remember you were there. <laughs> yeah. He just remembers the, uh, yeah, yeah. the game. <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> Graham, it's your well, turn. It's more interesting than what you were playing, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think we played Manhattan Project, Energy Empire, and we played Ground Floor, and we might have played another one. But, yeah. Very good. Uh, Steve Walton has just said in the in the chat, Camp Grizzly, Blood Rage, Nemesis, and Horrified are all good on TTS, so that's something to bear in mind. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Nemesis, um, that's a cracking game. Someone has asked what your favourite whiskey is to drink whilst you play. <laughs> Bomo. Fifteen year old Bomo. Nice. Chris, have you got a Well, I almost had that one prepared, didn't I'm, I? That's I'm sad. a commoner, I drink Jack Daniels. This is fifty fifty Jack Daniels and Coke. <laughs> nice. Um, and I don't drink it that often. <laughs> Only when I'm talking to you, apparently. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, and I think that everyone is encouraging. Well, not everyone. Lee is encouraging you both to get over to Halifax to play a game. Mm, absolutely. Um, Me and I'm, I'm, I'm going to make aircon next year, Mark. I've, oh, yeah. I've not been to aircon yet. <laughs> I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to venture to the wrong side of the Pennines next uh-huh. year. And, uh, yeah, I think you. Is, oh, I see. Yeah, you must great. be the only. Uh, you're the only admin that's not been over yet. Um, yep. Yeah. Uh, if we're allowed, you know, we might not be. We still might be in all this nonsense <laughs> by then. Uh, this is all just practice it. for that, really. I'm just. Uh, I'm just ironing yeah. out all the mistakes here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Graham asks, "Is Twilight Imperium for waterproof?" For some reason. <laughs> I've not blinged it out that much yet. I've replaced <laughs> plastic parts and, and miniatures. <laughs> <laughs> um, very good um, <laughs> and Ben says 15 year old Bowmore is the most interesting yeah. thing anyone has said for the last 60 minutes <laughs> yes he does doesn't he <laughs> <laughs> very good well thank you Andrew for taking the time again we'll be seeing you um, Thanks, across mate. the weekend at various interviews and things like that yep um, yep. and uh, we'll let you all get back <laughs> <laughs> to go and admin the group because I'm sure someone has been up to some mischief. Yeah, yeah, go and check on it. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Andrew. Thanks. See you soon. Thanks for arranging. Good speaking. Thanks, mate. Bye, guys.
Right, uh, well, I think we're probably about done. And almost on time, three minutes late. Not bad, eh? If you consider awesome. we had a bit of a break. Um, so there is tons going on. Uh, as I said, I'm messaging our admin. Uh, for those of you watching, uh, my admin. I said admin too many times tonight. Our dev are uh, the person that does all of our stuff for uh, Aircon. And so what we're going to be using is the game arranging system that we have for Aircon. We're getting that set up speedily. I, I texted about two days ago. I was like, would this be possible? And he's like, yeah, oh, I'll give it a go. Um, so we will have a game arranging system live. So you can go on and you can post games that you want to play. And other people can sign up for those games. You tell people what um, platform you're using, whether that's Tabletop Simulator or Tabletopia or any of the other many ones or even just Skype with the physical game and you want to do it like that. Um, and then uh, the group has a Discord channel. Uh, we would encourage you to use that um, and get on there. You can just go and hang out in that and chat to people and try and arrange the game that way. There's a link to that in the um, notifications, yes. group notifications. Yeah, and it'll be on or, the pin post. Or PM me for a link either way. Yeah. So um, there'll be plenty of ways to get playing games. Uh, the Bring and Buy is live as well. Uh, there's a few people that have put some games in there. Uh, so go and grab yourself a bargain. Um, exhibitors, uh, uh, I think Martin put up a, um, a post earlier with a bunch of exhibitors that are going to be posting over the weekend. Um, we would uh, love it if you could go and support those guys. Most of them were supposed to be exhibiting this weekend um, in Birmingham, but um, obviously can't so uh, it's a big hit for a lot of those uh, people so please do go and support them if you're able to um, we're going to be doing some interviews with various different exhibitors publishers and um, uh, retailers and all of those guys uh, a lot of them are bringing along special offers as well so yeah there's some bargains to be had there is some awesome bargains to be had um, we're starting bright and early tomorrow morning at 9am with Nabil from Traveling Man followed by Dave from Fanboy 3 uh, so the North representing well tomorrow morning um, we've got a bunch of other people like Chaos Cards coming on, Zatu are coming on um, uh, but then a load of other publishers in, including uh, oh, I'm not going to say them all because I'll forget some and then they'll feel left out Lots uh, of friends of the group are going to be on Yes, um, it's great uh, There's some live gaming, I think uh, Paul Grogan is arranging some games of code names using the new CGE code names thing that he's got some yeah, preview yeah, of yeah. so you can get on, uh, you can just go in and watch or you can join in the games um, David Tertsey uh, is organising some games of the new I'm not going to even try and pronounce them the follow, follow ups to Twatty Hadouken um, <laughs> yeah. uh, that are also pronounceable, unpronounceable T based games um, but he's doing two demo sessions of them again you can get in and play them uh, he's done a post in the group uh, letting you ha know how you do that or you can just go in and watch and just a bunch of stuff um, so we'll let you all crack on Lots. and get recreating your board game covers um, thank you Chris for are we Sorry, are we planning to launch T-shirts this week? What, do you, what are the thoughts? What do you think? Yes, we will do our best. It, I mean, we don't have to. We can, we can do it in the coming weeks. Yeah, no, I think I'll, I'll see. I'll get on tomorrow. I will do my very best to finish off the order form um, because uh, there are only so many hours in the day. Mark. <laughs> there are only so many hours in the day, um, but I will do my best. Uh, the form's almost ready to go. It's got a few tweaks on it. Um, but the, the design is out there. Um, it's an awesome design again. Um, not from... It's from the guy that did the year before this, wasn't it? Not this one. It's the guy... It's from the, there were actually two guys that did the year before. There was an initial design, and then uh, Mark uh, basically tarted it up and made it look like it does. But yeah, ultimately, it was the final, the final design from the year before last. Yeah. Awesome. And it looks great. Um, and we're going to have... Probably zip up hoodies. It looks like by the poll. Um, looks like it. I'll get ready for the booze in the chat. <laughs> uh, but thank you, Chris, so much for firstly setting up the group because I know it helped me massively uh, as I got into gaming, and I think I came in yeah. very, very early on in my kind of discovery of the yeah. hobby. Um, and I think yeah. I was posting about <clears throat> get bit and things like that. But I think the the thing has always been that other than <laughs> get Monopoly, bit's awesome, it's fun. Yeah. I think my I think my get bit's signed. <laughs> I'm sure it is. But did you have that? Mine was a metal tin. I don't know how they would have signed. That. Yeah, yeah, metal tin signed on the inside. Yeah. I think I might have got it chewy. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, um, and thank you, thank you for obviously. Um, I know that I know that our group is good to aircon, but you're mm. you're very good to this group in in ways that uh, most people don't realise and don't know. The, the, you do stuff behind the scenes that does make my life a lot easier. That's kind of easy to say. But, and again, thank you for giving up probably what was going to be an hour and ten minutes of gaming time 
somewhere. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> it's going to be XCOM on the PC. Or <laughs> Very good. And we will see you. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow morning uh, with Dave. Um, 10 a.m. Dave, 10 a.m. Uh, so everyone tune in for that. Um, and thanks again. Thanks everyone for joining in the chat. We'll see you all over the weekend. Thanks everyone. Bye. Bye.